Hi, I'm Katie Clancy, CEO of The Cape House at William Ravis, and you are watching The Cape House Show, where we give you the tips, tools, and sense of humor you're gonna need to get through the biggest transaction of your life. Speaking of things that are funny, I think we can all agree that poop is funny. Am I right? Yeah, poop is funny. So that's why I thought today would be a good day to talk about septic systems. So we're going to talk about septic systems in a couple of episodes here because there's a lot to know. Poop is very interesting. So septic systems 101, how do they work? So we all know, you know, when you're doing real estate, oh, you got to get the septic inspected. Oh, the septic didn't pass. Oh, I've got to get, you know, the D-box needs, oh, we need risers. Oh, how's your leach field? Like, uh, what is all that? All right, so today we're just going to talk about what is the septic system and what's the deal? Why does anybody even care? All right, most people in, well, not most people, but in more populated areas have sewer systems and, and all of the effluent from houses goes to a large plant somewhere far, far away that you never have to deal with. In rural areas like Cape Cod, which is getting less and less rural, um, we have our own little septic treatment, sewage treatment plants in our houses, and those are called septic systems. Um, so septic systems 101. So basically what happens is all of the wastewater from your kitchen, your bathroom, and your laundry goes out one pipe into a septic system, into the tank. So in the tank, everything goes there and the fecal sludge, you know what that is, sinks to the bottom and the greasy oily things rise to the top. This is so gross. And then in the middle, a pipe lets out the effluent into a re leaching field where basically that water, that wastewater leaches into the soil of your yard and our community and our aquifer, which wouldn't be such a big deal if we didn't have so many septic systems here on the Cape and if they didn't get so hammered on during the summer season. But we're starting to have a little issue. We only have a one aquifer here to work with on the Cape and the nitrogen that's coming in from these uh, septic systems is starting to be an issue. High nitrogen can cause some really scary, terrible things, particularly for little babies. Um, so we're all trying to figure out how to solve that. But in the meantime, you're getting your septic system inspected and that's part of keeping our water safe and your water safe. I mean, geez, if you have a, if you have a well on site, you've got to be conscious of that too. Um, so anyway, so septic systems are disgusting. They're gross, but they're super necessary. And it's really important that if you have one, that you make sure it is working well and doing what it's supposed to do because even when they're working the best they can they're still putting nitrogen into our water system and so we, we've got to make sure that we're not making it any worse than it is all right so believe it or not there's even more to know about septic systems um, and how they impact your real estate dealings and just your day-to-day -day living here on Cape Cod and I'm going to tell you more about that next time but in the meantime if you want to know more about septics you can come see us at thecapehouseteam.com and we can set you up with inspectors and stallers, all that stuff, anything you need to know. All right, till next time.